Hi everyone, and welcome to part one of how to use the Renonex calculator for Pokemon Sleep. I've decided to make these videos because we get a quite a lot of questions in the Discord and on Facebook about how to use it. There's a little apprehension on how to use it because it can be slightly confusing if you're not that into numbers. Now, in full disclosure, I have a basic history in data analysis. I'm more of an English major. I didn't really do too well at math in school but even I was able to use this. And I will say that it's one of the best calculators out there. In fact, I think it is the best out there. I've tried a few alternatives and none of them even come close to getting the accurate values that I'm getting consistently in my Pokemon Sleep game since joining the Discord a couple of months ago. Um, I actually went from, on average, about Master Rank 1 or 2 to about Master Rank 10 to 15 every week, consistently. And I'm very impressed in the hard work that Raynon is doing, and all the slight improvements he's making based on new data in the math courts. I'd also just like to mention that if you use this calculator on either a PC, laptop, or on your phone, it's exactly the same interface, it just may change slightly based on the size constraints of your screen. So the method is there, just follow along on either device, and you should be good to go. So, in this video, I want to show you how to set it up for success, so we can later add some details and look at Pokemon values to compare them. First though, let's start with the absolute basics, and that is you need to register and log in. If you don't, you won't be able to save data to this website, so please do that at the top right button here. You'll also notice that there's the option to change between a light mode and a dark mode. I find the dark modes easier on the eyes. And for the purposes of this video, we're going to be editing the user settings, which is this cog up in the top right. So give it a click, and we're going to be editing these basic user settings. Now, the first setting that we want to look at is this one right here. It's actually your first sleep session of the day. So I typically go to bed around 11 p.m. at night and wake up at 6 a.m. in the morning. And you can also add a second sleep session here if you do intend to nap throughout the day. These values will be calculated into the calculator and they will give you the most accurate information of your Pokemon's output. So I've added a nap between 1 and 2.30 p.m. The next field I want to make you aware of is energy calculation. Um, you can either choose the optimistic approach, which basically assumes all skill usage triggers when energy is 80 to 100%. It's based on the theory that energy boosts help speed, which boosts main skill triggering as well. You can also choose the conservative option if you'd like, but this assumes that skill usages are evenly spread out. So we typically recommend that you start with optimistic just as a beginner. From here, we want to make sure that include main skill is ticked, and if you have a good camp ticket applied, make sure that you tick this and make sure it is active. Be sure though to please update this every week if you have a good camp ticket applied. You've also got the option to always full pack for berry specialists. Now that's a little bit more advanced, we'll go through that in a future video, so for the moment I'm going to leave that untipped. The next section though, we're actually going to skip this for the time being because it relates to meals, recipes and dishes, and there's another feature in the calculator, I'll show it a later video on how to edit this as well. The last section though, we want to make sure that we update each island to the bonus values that we have had and collected for doing research on the island. So just for example purposes, I'm going to slide this to 20% so you can see. This last slider down here though, we'll ignore this for the moment. This will apply more to skill usages in the future. Now once you've done updating those basic settings, all you need to do is click the cross here you can see that the data has been uploaded and saved and for the moment we're going to end the video there. I want to keep these videos very basic so they're easy to reference and you can find exactly what you need to help. If you do like the content please consider liking and subscribing and if you do like the Rainonex calculator please do consider subscribing to it on the GitHub, Patreon or Discord. I will say the advanced features and ad free are really a treat because it does help you get the most out of your Pokemon. I myself am not receiving anything for making these videos. I've just hung around in the Discord and I really appreciate their help in showing me how to use this. 
and I'll be sure to put all the relevant link below. As always, if you would like any additional help, please refer to the documentation section on the left bar in the website. You can find a wealth of information here if you want to go into a deep dive into the math or how each section works, but we'll be going into that section in later videos. In the next video, we'll be going through how to add Pokemon into your Pokemon box using two different methods, but we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.